Hello, Blue Justin here, still Justin, still not Blue, and it's time for possibly my smallest ever weekly haul, but there are still a couple of nice little bits in there for me to show you, and also to make sure that uh, it's worth your while to watch. And I try to always make sure that is always the case. Um, I've got a couple of announcements to make after I've shown you uh, all the uh, physical materials I've bought this week. So I think we should probably get on with it. Right, uh, first things first, if there is any background wind blowing around, bashing leaves against the window sort of noise, I do apologise. Uh, as you might have gathered, we have had a bit of wind in the last couple of days and it's sort of unavoidable unless you're living in a bunker. So um, yeah, that all said, I don't think it should be too bad. It's mostly uh, dying down now, I'd like to think, apart from the next storm is on the way. Uh, we have first up, this is the uh, Zavi 4K exclusive of The King's Man. Uh, this is the um, uh, what was it? Pretty set as a prequel to the uh, other two movies uh, that are already out. Um, it's uh, I, I really like the look of it, and I like the fact that um, it's almost like an origins movie. But because they're not doing the origins in the first movie, they don't have to have a really light plot to base it on so they can explain what's going on you know what the, the Kingsmen are before you go into it so they can concentrate on the the full story and you know showing up a proper proper movie there really so yeah really looking forward to seeing this I didn't actually get to see it at the cinema which is a shame the art is unusual I would say um, it's, it doesn't match any of the art from either of the previous two releases um, I think the, only the second one had a steel book I might be wrong or certainly a 4k steel book um, uh, but I think the big problem is that this is the only one that the UK is getting and um, in the US Best Buy is getting a three steel book three Still, but 4K edition box set um, that has matching covers, which I shall, as long as I can get my editor to work, I shall put on the screen now. Uh, try to talk over it. And if I if I'm not talking, then that's because I couldn't work out how to do it. Um, yeah, the uh, I think for, together they look much more sensible, and um, because of their matching but uh, uh, by itself it does look a bit odd. There does seem to be a nice steel, I think it's got one of those, um, I know it's got a regular, just a regular normal uh, paper wrap around. I thought it was going to be one of those slide on um, cellophane type covers like you get on the Mondo's, but no, uh, it's got, uh, the trailer and some featurettes that's about it for the bonus features on here it does come with Dolby Atmos though um, so thought it's going to be a good picture uh, 15 first strong bloody violence injury detail language and sex references so pretty much what you'd expect from a Kinsman film then Next up we have this week's Mondo MCU release, which is Ant-Man. Yes, I know I can't find my Ant-Man shirt at the moment, so the Wasp will have to do, must do better, I know. Right, um, this one is obviously a Mondo with the uh, cellophane type uh, slip, so uh, yeah. I think it's. Uh, I always enjoyed Ant Man. I wasn't sure about it when I first time I watched it, but I thought the humour 
did work very well in this particular instance. Um, as you know, I don't didn't that didn't work so well for me for Thor um, Ragnarok, but in this one it just seemed to be right for the style of movie. Um, this one is again um, probably only I think it's only available through Xavi because they seem to have all the exclusives for the Mondo MCU's at the moment. But I think you can get almost identical, if not absolutely identical, um, releases imported. So I think, like I said, it'll be the same contents as previous 4K releases with featurettes, deleted and extended scenes and uh, with a commentary over those and a gag reel uh, again with Dolby Atmos. But, uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best cover of the recent batch of Mondo MCU releases. I much I like this one. It's a lot more simple and less cluttered, but then uh, it's a bit of a problem for them in the clutter department um, in the sense of a lot of the recent ones have been things like the Avengers, which have got lots and lots of characters in them, and they've tried to fit all of them onto the front cover. Now, um, there are different ways of doing these things. Uh, but uh, anyway, my personal opinion is that that's the best looking one so in this recent batch. Um, so, yeah. Next up, this one came out a few, a little while back, but I hadn't get around to buying it. I was waiting for the price to drop. And that is Jackie Chan in Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. This is an 88 films release uh, with a limited edition slip case, um, fold out poster, art cards, um, English dub, just in case you wanted to watch it instead of uh, the original um, languages, which got those as well, Cantonese and Mandarin. It has got newly remastered English subs. Um, as you won't be surprised to hear, it's got a, uh, audio commentary by the uh, some Asian cinema experts. Another Asian audio commentary this time by an actor stuntman, and uh, a new interview um, for this release about about this release, and a second new interview with a Hong Kong film expert. Um, it's got alternative US opening credits, the reconstructed Chinese opening credits, uh, trailers, reversible sleeve with the new artwork, uh, and trailers from uh, the US, the UK, and from Hong Kong. So that's all looking very good. It's got DTS HD must audio, um, which although it will be the, I believe it has said that it, it's um, mono, and I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but uh, yeah, it's it's it looks to be a good story about uh, um, one kung fu clan trying to track down and wipe out another, and of course Jackie Chan is being trained up by the um, Grand Master of the clan that's being tracked down to be destroyed and wiped out and you can tell it's going to end up in a big fight sequence at the end um, there are probably some fight sequences during it as well so yes really looking forward to watching this one i think, it's, I think this is the one that pretty much launched um jackie chan's career and uh, i think it's followed up a little bit uh, later by drunken master which was the one that cemented his role as a martial arts action hero. This is, I think, this is, I think he might have appeared in other things, but um, this is the first one that combined his um, martial arts skills and the um, slapstick type comedy that he's so good at. Next up, this one was a movie I'd forgotten I hadn't picked up, um, and I noticed on. Blu-ray Bullet Brits channel that he was uh, showing one that I think he was giving away. Um, this isn't the same uh, issue, 
but uh, it's the same movie and that's the grifters well, i don't know why i've got bits of it's supposed to be new but who knows where this these things come from sometime um yeah great cast um and directed by the same chap who does who did dangerous liaison which you know i like because i've got it recently and i bought the um modern adaptation as well and produced by martin martin scorsese uh this one's a thriller all about um uh, the, the grifters and, and um all about um con con con, uh, con merchants uh who come into conflict um when um Cusack, John Cusack gets beaten up and his um, mother, played by uh, Angelica Houston, uh, falls out with his girlfriend, played by Annette Benning. Uh, both of them in the bigger lead, big bigger league of con artists than he is. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen this one in quite some time, so really looking forward to catching up with that. And thanks to Bulletway Brit for reminding me that I didn't have it. Um, there's a big brand new feature length documentary about the film's production including interviews as its main and practically only I think special feature uh, so we've got we've, yeah well, it's 71 minutes so it's a big special feature so just it's the only the sound is only stereo but uh, if that's what it was made in then that's just the way it goes I'm afraid sometimes Yes, that's the Grifters. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, next up is one of my favourite actors. Usually seems to end up dead. Um, that's Sean Bean in The Frankenstein Chronicles. This is season two. Uh, I think they, they only made two seasons, so this completes the whole thing. Uh, about a detective uh, in the 1820s London dealing with dark forces and incorporating the Frankenstein type situation of bodies being reanimated, etc. I won't go too much into the plot because uh, looking at the back of this one, I think the, the, uh, the plot of this one gives away a little bit what happens uh, at the end of the season one. So I won't go too much into that. Being as it's Dazzler Media, it doesn't have... Um, if any, I don't think it has any extras at all, uh, but it has got a nice DTS HD master, DTS master audio and PCM soundtrack. Um, DTS one is in 5.1, the PCM one is totally lossless and is in dual mono or potato. And it's got strong bloody violence, crime, de crime scene detail, injury detail and threat. So it's a 15. So yes, I, like I said, I've got the first one. Been looking forward to getting this one for quite some time. It's been on my birthday list for a bit. Got bored of waiting. So, and finally, another one I noticed on somebody else's um, YouTube video, which is I, I, one of the reasons I love watching all the YouTube videos that everybody puts out, um, because it gives me ideas of what I'm missing or could be interested in. This one I saw on Kermit's Ghosts, uh, recent trip to HMV when he was in the anime section. Uh, yeah, this one is called The Hentai Prince and the Stony Cat. Rather odd title, uh, but uh, yeah, it just intrigued me. So I had a little look um, about how available it was. And took me a little while to track it down because um, most uh, places are spelling stony as per you can see the front S-T-O-N-Y but um, Amazon which is where I first started looking um, used the think that that little paw print there is supposed to represent an E that should be dropped into the word stony and the weird thing is that Amazon had previous releases of smaller portions of this and the original manga that it was based on uh, spelt S-T-O-N-Y but this one actually they spelt S-T-O-N-E-Y so I ended up getting it from 
HMV uh, online as it happens because I couldn't find it on Amazon. Uh, it's a quite an odd idea. It's they describe it as um, uh, two people, one who's a pervert whose inability to project emotions is a constant problem. Um, though I've noticed that um, anime stuff tends to use pervert in a slightly different way. In usually uh, a teenager who basically can't control his uh, libido with common sense and gets him into trouble and is basically just a bit um, it's, it not necess doesn't necessarily mean he's it's he's into, uh, he's into unusual things just things that um, probably shouldn't talk about quite so much as they do um, and this female friend um, has the opposite issues she can't stop blurting out whatever she happens to be thinking whether it's juvenile or inappropriate um, they meet and they learn, learn about a stone statue of a cat that can magically remove a single personality trait. So they, when they, unfortunately, when they find out, um, they find it doesn't just take the personality trait away; it transfers it to someone else. And now the first chap um, can't stop talking without a filter for his uh, um, dodgy thoughts, and. Um, the other character is unable to display emotion whatsoever and they have to team up and find out the original where the original owners of the uh, stony cat are to fix uh, and unswap how it all, all better work out so yes sounds like an interesting idea um it's uh, not necessarily something that's appealed to everyone but uh yeah it hasn't got hardly any uh special features just got it's got, it's got Heneco BBS, but I'm not sure quite what that is. Um, it's got but the main thing, obviously, is that I recognise is yet again clean opening and closing animations. And uh, yeah, that is the actual last purchase for me this week. But moving on to the um, bits I was telling you about uh, that I was going to announce uh, now. Um, so, like I said, please don't uh, stop watching. Um, I am announcing a new uh, series of videos that I hope to be starting very soon. I know this particular type of plan didn't go very well for me last time I tried it, but let's hope it goes better this time. Uh, for Valentine's Day recently, my wife gave me this box of a year of dates. This is the cinema edition. And um, what it is, he says, well, I can never work out how to open this box, unfortunately. This is going to make things difficult. And take that out. What it is, is a box full of sealed envelopes. And in this particular case, each one contains a, uh, a different movie. Now, just because they're about dates that that's not up to say that they're romantic movies particularly they can turn they contain all different variety of genres and the idea is that you choose one per week for a year uh, watch it together and uh, it gives you something to think about and discuss so they might not be the best in their genre but they should give you at least something to think about uh, so which is going to give you a, give you a nice variety there I think um, so yeah and since it's a gift from my wife and she wants to get back into the idea of watching uh, a weekly um, movie together i should be able to add my thoughts to hers and do a video which summarizes what um, the outcome of that was um, now i think that will probably be a separate video to do that but i don't know how long it'll be probably quite a short one um, depending on obviously again on how long uh, how difficult the movie is to describe sometimes I think on really really well known movies it's a bit difficult to do long reviews because everybody already has sort of like their own opinion and if, there's no point in going too deeply into the plot because pretty much everybody will know it but uh, I'm hoping for some 
interesting things here to come out. But uh, yeah, the idea is I think what I'll do is we'll I'll draw one on at the end of uh, this video each week, and then probably watch the movie the following Sunday, which is our usually our watching movie day. Um, and if I, because that would give me time if I haven't actually got it on Blu-ray or DVD already, then it'll give me time to track it down from somewhere, either buy it or get it off a friend. Um, so yes, I hope you um, are going to be able to look forward to that one and I hope I'm going to be able to keep up with it this time, that sort of idea of doing some reviews, which I haven't really uh, concentrated on before. Uh, the other announcement I'm going to quickly come back with you to with is the fact that this Tuesday, uh, barring uh, any problems, uh, I should be on Robofat Bounty's um, Bounty Bunch uh, live stream. So I will put a link down below to his page. I hope you enjoyed the one with me when I was... Um, on Playtendo guys a couple of weeks ago and I'm hoping you, you'll enjoy this one. It's got some great guests on. I can't remember off the top of my head all of them but if I uh, Blu-ray Bullet Brit Ainsley I believe is supposed to be on as is Big Paulie so I, uh, I'm going to be in very good company and uh, people are already saying that uh, it looks like there's a very good uh, set of guests on so hopefully that hopefully that includes me so anyway in the meantime after all, all that like i said um just a short little um haul this week but uh announcement of the what i hope will be a successful little series of videos and um then uh, um please watch the live stream and i hope you enjoy that so in the meantime, please keep on enjoying uh, all the films that the TV that you're watching and everybody else's YouTube. Like I said, I love watching everybody else's YouTube uh, channels and if, because they're entertaining and they give me ideas on things that I might be interested in. And I hope mine gives you ideas or you might be interested in of uh, that I might have purchased or um, just uh, mentioned in passing or whatever. So anyway. Enough of my jabbering on and uh, hope you stay safe and well with all the various uh, storms at the moment. Eunice is going to be followed up by Franklin in the next few days. So I hope that is not as bad as uh, they're making it out, fearing that it might be. Um, so like I said, stay safe and watch out for the uh, like cancellations on transport and trains and don't travel unless you have to.